Hello, everybody. Last Outrider here, and we are celebrating the first ever What Is It series, a series of micro videos I'm making on items from the 40K universe. We all know them. We all love them. And while it was a tough choice, my first What Is It video will be about the Chainsword, a uniquely 40k weapon that we all know and love. And so let's go into it right now. Chainswords from the scrap metal madness pieced together by barbaric orc warriors to the sacred designs churned out by Adeptus Mechanicus Manufactories. The galaxy is no stranger to the throaty growl of revving chainswords. Chain swords are not subtle weapons. Wielding one is a statement in its own right. They are horrific tools of war designed to bite, tear, and eviscerate where more primitive blades merely cut and slice. A chain sword brings the weight of intimidation with its obvious effectiveness and its promise of pain before death. On worlds claimed by humanity, these blades are items of status for criminals and high-ranking gang fighters, as well as weapons of lethal and crowd-pleasing necessity for indentured gladiators. Among mankind's endless armies, the ubiquitous chainsword has found a home in the arsenal of many Imperial Guard officers, as well as serving as the weapon of choice for countless warriors amongst the Adeptus Astartes since the ancient era of the Space Marine Legions in the Great Crusade. In alien hands, chain blades take more exotic forms despite obeying the same function. An orcish chain chopper will have none of the Eldar's chain sabers bone-sung elegance and little of the reliability of a space marine's mass-produced weapon. But it will carve flesh and shed blood with the same eagerness. How's that? And next time in our little tidbit, what are the origins and different variants of the chain sword? Until then, bye, ba-ba-ba.